we have just completed the light temple. So I don't really know where to go now. Probably like the moon temple or something. Uh, but I figured there's something else we can do before that. I'll show you soon. First we pick up the map. And uh, let's see here. Um, there we go. Here's the whole world, as you can see. And we are in the middle of the map, in the gold city spot. And down to the southwest, you can see a really small island, I'll show you. There. So, we're going to land on it. There's a small village there, uh, which you can get an item there that we need. Let's see here, southwest, a little right, alright? This should take us there. Yeah! So, let's land here. And I think it's the big building here, or the bigger one. Yeah. I'm not making it here. There's nothing on this blessed island. Uh, <laughs> You actually want one? Yeah, so... Now I got this item, and if you remember, um, they needed it in the Kikara village, in the desert. So let's go there now. And... Here's the village, yes. And we'll talk to those two people standing near the dried lake or pond. And what's this? King of Mar? It's a sea hare's tail. Hurrah. And that will return the water. And the music as well. So yeah. Um, It's not that useful, this item we get. Um, but if you get Moogled, you can unmoogle yourself with that item for no cost at all. So let's try it. There we go. Oh no, I'm a Moogle! What shall I do? Well, let's try that item again and we will be unmoogled. Um, now I think we can go to the Moon Temple. Or Moon Palace, I don't know what you call it. And I think you can land really close to the Moon Temple. If you. Well, I think it's a green area around here. Maybe it's on the inside of the mountains. I don't know. Um, yeah, it probably is, because otherwise we'd see something else in the background. So, let's try and land on the inside of the mountains, in another green area. Uh, yeah, I can see it there. So yeah, maybe we can land here. No, we can't. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, let's try that green area. Where is it? Ah, there we are. Maybe we can land somewhere else near the edge of this. Yeah, never mind. Better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry, better safe than sorry. Yeah, this trip might take some time. Not really that much time, but you know, if you're not patient enough, you may want to uh, do something else while waiting. It'll take a couple of seconds, like 15 seconds or so. So... <laughs> I could cut this part out, but it's, it's not that far. So anyway, uh, why are they charging their weapons up? There are no enemies here. Maybe that uh, ferryman was considered an enemy to them. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, let's kill this flying squid. Yeah, let's call it the flying squid. It's probably called something else, but... Uh, there we go. And yeah, this could take some time. If it takes too much time, I'll just cut it out because somewhere in here there's a crystal orb that we'll use magic on. But it's like running circles really. But soon, sooner or later you'll reach like if you just keep running upwards, you'll come back to the entrance that you saw those purple lights or yeah, purple fires. 
<sighs> so, I don't know how much time this will take. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> no problem, I'm patient. I can make it. Hmm. So, um, yeah. Alright. A never ending. Yeah, this could actually be like uh, the way the universe looks, you know? If you go to a point all the time, you'll come back to the same place. I don't know, it's just a theory. Anyway, yeah. Good we found it so early. <laughs> I mean, we could have been running for hours. All of us. So in here we will get another elemental. Which you will see here. Luna. The moon spirit. She's really good. And you'll see her powers and actions in the next part. Because, well, yeah, I'll have to train her skills, skill levels up first, or magic levels, as one may call it. So we got to see its power. I know we should have seven mana power, which means we can get our magic levels up to seven, which is awesome and cool. So let's get the hell out of here now. Nothing else to do here. And uh, Mauro, he actually has a really useful spell called Energy Absorb, which means he can suck the enemy's MP and absorb it. Uh, yeah, basically. So, um, I use it a lot to train his version of Luna. Well, his magic level up. Um, this takes some time. Maybe I have to, uh, I don't know. Click? Yeah, probably had to. <laughs> well, that was a waste of time. I hope I don't get over my limit here. Still at, uh, let's see, 7.30, yeah. So, I think we're ready to go to the Lofty Mountains again. Because there's another thing we have to do here, or there, which is go to the top of the mountain, which we haven't been visiting yet. I have, off screen, but you haven't seen it in my LP. Uh, so we'll go there now and uh, do some stuff. And now I just have to find it. I don't know really which direction to go. I'll just, you know, randomly choose the road or way. Uh, <laughs> road. Right. Yeah. Uh, not on this continent, I think. Hmm. Nope. And here, maybe? No. Alright. <laughs> yeah, here it is. Alright. And the village is right there. So let's land there and get some sleep and... <sighs> See the end of this part. So, yes. And by the way, my trial version of the audio record I'm using is expiring. So I'll have to use something else soon. I'll try to find a way. Um, so no problem. Maybe I'll have to use the standard recorder. You know, the one you get in Windows XP. <laughs> so anyway, that's all for this part. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!